Welcome back to Angry Badger Minis. We are finishing up the last of the Ravenwing models. Uh, that being said, <clears throat> um, there are some weapon options and things like that that can go with like the land speeders and stuff. But ultimately, <clears throat> it's about the models and being able to play with them uh, and getting to the point that we can paint them. I plan on actually magnetizing the missile pods that'll be going to all of these land speeders. This will make these five finished here will make six. Um, I've actually already done one of those or completed it uh, of, of all, I'm sorry, of all these. Um, and I also have, I had to make this model, but this is from a very old one and it's amazing how brittle the plastic was. But um, for Samuel, uh, uh, his saber claw, I believe is what it's called. You know, there's, there's not a model that I know of that exists. So I took basic bits and stuff that I had that, you know, aren't really needed. And I made my own Saber Claw Land Speeder. And I think it came out pretty decent. I really do. Um, I'm not sure how the focus is on this right now, but uh, might be better if it was a little further away. But uh, I think it came out pretty, pretty smooth. So, and of course, you know, once it's all painted, it'll look better. Um, we're also plugged in now with my phone. Uh, that's my camera. So I'm curious for you that are viewing this, if it's um, any better in quality. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that it's feeding off of the, the cord and not just Wi-Fi, but I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, we've got these five land speeders to do and that's it. So um, I've already started on the bodies here. So this shouldn't take too long. There'll be a little bit of cleanup, but nothing you know major. And uh, hopefully we don't have, um, won't have any issues with the, uh, you know, the models wanting to play games with me. <laughs> no pun intended. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the, uh, the playlist. Um, finally got that working on the last, the last stream. So it's an actual playlist. And uh, I've come up with some other ways. I, I have to say of all of the vehicles so far in the 40K hobby that I despise, it's the land speeder putting it together. It is just the absolute pain. If you take a look, you can see that gap right there and it goes all the way to the front. There's, there's almost no way for me to, to solidify and get that, even if I hold it down, get that gap out of there without you know, breaking something. Um, thankfully though, this portion right here on the bottom gets covered up by the grill that goes around it. Uh, and then this portion up top here at this angle, I'll just have to fill that in if it's really that much of a bother to me. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the structure of the model or you know anything like that, but I guess just for you know, completion purposes, you know, uh, I'll need to do that. But since I got tired of, uh, especially with the older ones, but trying to hold things together with my thumb and you can see what I'm pressing up against here. Um, I went to the store today and I bought a bunch of these at Lowe's and no, I'm not sponsored by Lowe's, but they're hand clamps. Uh, this one's by Pony, and I think they were like this particular size. I bought five of them, uh, five bucks. You just, it's, you know, literally, you got a button here, that, you know, that's, or trigger that you can push to release it, and then you just, you know, pull it down however far you need it, and uh, works out great. And then I also bought a couple of larger ones because I know that I have some Land Raiders that I'll be putting together. That I'm gonna need that I'm gonna need something to hold them together a little bit better than a rubber band and these bad boys I got three of them they're freaking huge so I, we should have enough for whatever it is that we need um, assuming that we can you know get around whatever we need so but anyway um, I'm still doing the whole you know industrial method if you will of putting stuff together you know, everybody getting the same part one at a time that way things can dry and uh, 
you know, we'll uh, we'll get through this, and we will be done with the Raven Wing tonight. And so the next step, or the next uh, army, if you will, because this will serve as its own army, just it'll give me, you know, obviously options to use when I play Dark Angels. Um, the the next goal here, because I believe it'll be the easiest, is all of those Dark Vengeance box sets that I have that, you know, some of the Ravenwing bikes came out of. They've got a ton of Marines in there and a ton of Terminators. Well, there's my Deathwing army and there's Dark Angels. So most of them are push fit. Uh, and then, of course, we've got, you know, special character. I have all of the ones that had the special character of the Chaplain in it. But I'm going to take that chap, the extra chaplains and move them over to another unit, or, I mean another army or something like that because it's a badass model and um, I'm sure that there's a way that I can make it fit in, you know, take out some kind of, if there's any kind of Dark Angels, you know, icons on it or iconography, um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that I can, you know, uh, get rid of that somehow and um, or cover it up or, or what have you because if you take a look, I mean, and I'm in... I'm motivated to do this now because if you take a look at, for instance, the Samuel model, okay? I'm going to take this off here, and I'm not sure if you guys can make it out, but you see, at least you can see there's something on his chest, right? Well, that, that something was meant, to, you know, his actual model uh, on the jet bike has a bunch, of, a bunch of things on his chest as well. And so what I did was I cut one of these, uh, one of these tabard things or you know banner things up and just use the smaller portion right here to drape that across his chest for some type of uh, you know heraldry or or whatever you want to call it let's see if i can put this back on here i'm breaking awesome um and in the process of, of making all this stuff i mean i'm it's amazing you know how much more i'm getting into this and i was actually in the process when i was making that model i was concerned about how it would look and um, I don't know how to explain this, but it just seems like the older we get, the better we get, uh, even if we've had to step away from the hobby for a while. And, um, you know, at least that's how it seems to be for me, anything from painting to kit bashing. And, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the Deathwing and the, and the Dark Angels together just to get those boxes and, you know, out and get things done. And I have a feeling, you know, that the Dark Angels, Deathwing, and Ravenwing army will pretty much take up an entire IKEA um, uh, Detoff glass case. So that that will give me another idea of, or I'm sorry, give me another clue as to what it is that I'm dealing with exactly. Um, and then I think from there we're probably going to move on to um, Black Templar, uh, then possibly um, Blood Angels. Um, cause I've got the blood angels terminators that a bunch of, bunch of people on the orcs page and 40 K told me that they just don't make anymore. Um, I better get those made before somebody, you know, shows up at my house and takes, I'm kidding. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a shame they don't make them cause they, they do look beautiful, at least on the cover. Who knows what I'll be able to do with them. But, um, yeah, so this is moving along pretty pretty smooth uh, compared to what it used to be. Um, while that's gluing, I'm going to go ahead and trim up a little bit of these uh, antenna here and uh, make sure that we're ready to put those on when we want to. The last thing that I'm going to put on, though, is going to be this back part here, uh, the spoiler on the back. And the reason for that is, is even though I had these clamped down with the new clamps and stuff, uh, I haven't seen any separation here in the back uh, near the near the top right here but I did I had a lot of problems with that yesterday when I was building the, the Samuel model and um, you know that I, I didn't have but a couple hours yesterday to work on that and uh, surprisingly I got it done I, I was actually really shocked that I was able to um, but I also the of the land speeder parts that I used because I didn't want to use the new ones I figured that he would have something more antique um, I mean that's how his bike is it's a you know it's an antique bike and um, so I, I grabbed that old plastic and man let me tell you I don't know if it's just because it's plastic if it was the way it was made I have no idea but I mean it was brittle and um, that was something else was 
Uh, you probably can't make this out. Um, or maybe you can. I don't know. But right here, if you guys can see the point right here, there is a break. Uh, you'll see where it's broke. Okay? It broke like that. It was already broken like that when I took it off the sprue. Now, you're probably sitting there saying to yourself, and this might be a useful hobby tip, is that, you know, how in the world do you get that to glue back together when it's so thin? Well, what I did was, uh, after, you know, fighting with it like most people, it then occurred to me just to get a piece of paper, cut it to fit, and stick it behind it to make a joint, you know, or a scab. And then once you put the super glue on the paper, the, the paper's going to, you know, harden up. And so it's it's like taking a piece of sprue, if you will, and putting you know scabbing it up, or like you would in carpentry. But um, it's there's not enough room back there for the sprue, so I used paper instead, and it worked out like a charm. So some you know, and that's the first time I've ever done that. So now it's a little little technique that I'll hopefully remember if I run into that problem again. Let's see here. I also didn't want to get too crazy with like, you know, things hanging off the vehicle, kind of like what I said about my um, my Land Speeder Vengeance, you know. I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, these are combat vehicles, not something that's just flying around with a giant cathedral on top of it. <laughs> it's just not the, not my thing. Oh, there it is. I was, I was like, I know I got a fifth, fifth antenna around here somewhere. Okay, and the reference that's sitting right there, okay, assuming we can do this. What I'm doing is I'm also testing out a method for uh, lining up and getting these arms in place a little bit easier and so far I've been able to look at a past you know it sucks when you got to do one you know the first one but once you've got the first one done you can kind of line up what you did on the other one with some reference points and and that seems to be working for me so far so I'm just gonna keep rolling with that method until it fails <laughs> that way I can kind of speed things up and not have to fight with it um, you know inside the vehicle because I mean when you take a look at the the instructions you know they tell you to assemble this stuff outside of the vehicle but it's like if you assemble it wrong then the gun's not gonna fit you know in his hands and it's gonna be lined up jacked up and you know I've been watching a lot of uh, I say I've been watching a lot but I've been I've been watching videos and whatnot, tutorials or whatever of stuff that other folks do. Um, however, that being said, um, it seems like, you know, and I, don't, I won't say it's for malice, but it seems like they leave steps out and I'm not sure why they do that. Or maybe they just take for granted that, you know, they already know how it goes and, and what have you. Um, I'm, I'm just not entirely sure why they do that, but the one in particular or the, the issue I'm talking about in particular is pinning, you know, where you can basically use a paper clip or bat, brass rod or whatever to pin your models to give them more strength that weaken joints. It's all fine and dandy until you get to the point of trying to match the holes up. And I kind of came up with a method, uh, I don't know, I haven't done it yet. Um, I've actually never really found the, the need to have to pin, to be honest with you. Um, who knows, it, it, could, it could happen. Um, but the method that I was thinking about, and I, I believe this will work, is once I have, uh, well, let me put it this way. The, the, the part that escapes me is the lining up of the pin to the, you know the part that it's going to pin in because if you're if you're off even just a little bit now that the part that you're pinning isn't you know it's not a you know it's not over there um, 
what do you call it? Um, sorry, my fingers are sticking together here. <laughs> it's not, uh, you know, th th there's just, it's not going to be, it's not going to be even where you wanted it to be. And, you know, so that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out would be the most reliable method to make that happen. So I just got a message from Baltimore. Um, said congratulations or something. Um, trying to see it here. Give me one second. Hopefully it doesn't kill my live stream by going to what's normal. Ah, yeah. So if you don't know Baltimore, and I'm not, um, it's B A L D E R M O R T, and I'm not trying to, you know, just, you know, hang on his coattails or anything, but he's one of my favorite narrators. And um, it, uh, hold on a second. second So anyway, yeah, he liked my or loved my comment. I told him he had the best voice of any audiobook I've listened to, which I, I believe he does, um, and uh, that I, he needed a contract from Games Workshop. <laughs> I told him thanks for all he does. Um, he said thanks, boss. They hire professionals. Pity, <laughs> lol. Well, you know, each their own. I mean, I've. I've got, you know, some GW uh, audiobooks, not not very many, or Black Library rather, <clears throat> and they don't sound as good as this guy's voice. He, I mean, he's, in my opinion, he's uh, he puts he really puts the effort in, so and it, it makes it worth listening to for sure. And uh, one thing he says about some of the stuff that he covers, which I really like, is this is just an introduction because I guess he's. I won't say he's got. He's just getting started. I think he's been around a year or something like that. But I, I, I just found his channel uh, maybe a week ago now, and man, it's awesome. <clears throat> but um, you have uh, Luton Zero Nines, another great one. You know, as far as giving the the back history and lore. Um, but Luton does just doesn't have that. You know, he's not he's not in storyteller mode. I'll say <clears throat> like. Uh, Baltimore is so I'm hoping that uh, this is really clear for you guys it's a little hard for me to tell on my end but I've got some plans actually you might laugh at this had some plans about making a sc uh, scaffold for my camera and stuff uh or rather my phone or whatever but doing it out of sprue i wonder if i have enough sprue in the house to do that <laughs> i probably do or i will by the time i'm done with all this project that would be crazy wouldn't it all right there's an arm yeah, this is going together a lot smoother than the one, the first one I fought with, and uh, it's not that I haven't put a land speeder together, but I just haven't done it in so long. And every time I've done it, it's always been just this royal pain. So, um, you know, you develop these techniques, and again, I guess maybe when we get older, you know, 
things make a little more sense or something. I don't know. Right now, I'm just making it up as I go. I'll also show you guys something else I did. Um, let me get let me get going on this though first. Uh, while these will be drying, I can show you, but I want to make sure I <clears throat> get these attached. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now, <clears throat> now we run into a problem right here where we got an arm that wants to do its own thing uh, for whatever reason. And what I mean by that is I didn't realize this before I tried to glue it, but it's it didn't exactly come out of the mold correctly. So now I'm having to offset that arm a little bit and then, you know, reinforce it with the glue. Um, it's not that big a deal. But uh, sometimes, you know, those little arms like that, they, they can end up messing up putting on the pauldron afterwards. And that, you know, it, it happens with any model race. It doesn't matter. I've had it happen with Space Marines, Orcs, freaking Necrons, just whatever. You know, stuff just doesn't want to doesn't wanna work today or whatever, you know. And there's probably something to be said too if you're doing this stuff way late at night and you're you know tired, not really paying attention. Oh man, it just popped right off of there, didn't you? Come on. All right. So while those are drying. <clears throat> just so you're aware this right here is let's see here, a box of 48 bikes and let's see here and six attack bikes but as you can see they're they're double layer fill this box twice so there's 48 bikes in here six attack bikes and then I have pieces left over that I could make even more dark dark angels or deathwing bikes but I'm gonna save them for a, a special project now none of those have the bases on them right now um, but these three guys do and this is the command squad Now there's some other adornments that you could put on them That I have not um, Actually, let me turn them sideways for you I'll Put this flag guy in there. ancient in the back um, But you've got your champion which he doesn't really go like this with the two flags on the back like that I put that like that. He's got like another little cathedral thing that goes on, but I just didn't like it. Uh, I'll use it for terrain or something. But what I also did, and I don't know if you can make this out, the helmets, all three of them have the same helmet. And it was this neat little helmet that um, was on the sprue. It's, it looks more like a gray knight helmet, like, you know, um, with the, uh, like, think of like Optimus Prime in the, in the face. And, uh, I have enough of those that I was able to make three. I actually have enough to make more, but I'm going to save them for something else. Uh, you know, maybe if, when, if I ever finish up my homebrew chapter. And um, yeah, I'm really impressed with with these models. And the only reason I put these guys, they're they're barely glued on, but the only reason I put them on a base was just because the weight of the flag. You know, constantly putting it over, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want these guys to get broken or anything like that. Um, I also having put them on the base, I realized that my idea of 
rolling a tire or a wheel across the um, the ground here is going to be self-defeating because you won't even be able to see the tread because as you can see the base is not that big so there's no point in doing that uh, maybe maybe if I wanted to push it all the way to the front and I could put just a little bit in the back back here but I don't I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze but we'll see when we get there um, it was a great idea at the time but uh, just not not in the cards at the moment all right so now we've got these raven wing polderns wait a minute these are raven wing where's the that's not the ones I want I want the or do I let me see now he's got that skull one um, one second. I got a ton of these Raven Wing things here, but I, I want my stuff to be the same. One. Hopefully, we got five of these. One, two. One. Might have already taken the one off of here. Yeah, it looks like we did. That's two. I mean, we should have enough. I've got a ton of these, these things back here. Three. Four. Five. Yep, we're good. All right, cool. So, that being said, where's my clippers? We'll just clip those out real quick and get this uh, pilot finished up. Cameron, what are you working on at the moment? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sure they're, or hopefully they're not that hard to put together. Are they push fit or what? I haven't actually looked at the models in the Indominus box set that I have. Sorry, hands aren't in the shot here. Oh, well, I won't lie to you. Sometimes I break those off on purpose. Just remember, when it comes to glue, less, or I'm sorry, more is not always good. Less is best. Wonder how they got broken off. All right. I'm not sponsored by Crazy Glue, but Crazy Glue, if you're listening, I wouldn't mind since you're the only glue that I've used in decades. I don't use super glue or any other stuff. It just doesn't work for me. Um, crazy glue has been my go-to forever.
Yeah, there you go. I'm really particular about my pauldron, pauldrons. Um, sometimes they want to sit weird, and yeah, I got you. And uh, I don't like, I don't like that. I want them to look in a way symmetrical, even if he's at an angle. Uh, I want it to, you know, to be right. And sometimes it just doesn't lend itself to that. And what you have to do is tease it into into place. And it's the top that I that is the part that bothers me the most. So as long as the top is up near the neckline, then I'm good to go. It's when it's not that I get bothered, if you will. Making progress though, that's for sure. And for those of you just joining, if you made it this far, we've already been in this thing a half hour. Wow. Um, you can see the, the bulk of everything before I started, uh, I guess now two weeks ago. We put together an entire work army and we are finishing up the Dark Angels Ravenwing army and we're not even, we haven't even made a dent in the amount of models that I have. As far as armies go, possibly, but Not when it comes to the overall investment in games workshop that I have. And that's not stocks. <laughs> so, I don't have any stocks with them. They're too expensive. There was a time when I thought I was going to do that. I think it was 720 pounds or something uh, per stock or something. What I'll do is once I get it in place and it doesn't want to go anywhere, I'll put a little dab on the inside corner of that pauldron just to give it a little extra support. Because whether you choose to or not, somehow or another your fingers are going to find its way to that pauldron and you're going to pull it right off. Right on. Alright, now we're gonna get the head. And for me, I like using the guy that's got no helmet on, but he's got the you know the mask on him, looks like Bane in a way. Uh, from Batman. There's my inner nerd showing again. And I'm not talking about Christian Bale. I'm talking about 
back in the day comic book DC Bane was considerably larger I also like to tilt the pilot's head back just a hair that way you can get to the rest of the the rest of his head without it being too crazy uh, to try to paint and I noticed that they have a Primaris type land speeder now but all of that just leads me to believe that they're gonna eventually just get rid of legacy marines but I could be wrong I don't think I'm wrong but I'm not sure why but that head seems like it wants to bob around not sit right weird I'm sure I'll have to revisit some of this stuff when I get to painting, but we'll see uh, how motivated I am with that. I also bought, a, uh, for the first time in my life, an adjustable speed Dremel today. So that'll make doing the barrels, you know, barrel holes a heck of a lot easier. It was about 50 bucks at Lowe's. Tell I like Lowe's. And if you're a veteran, 10% discount. I don't know if I got a discount on that stuff, but I think I did. And I bought that and some drill bits. And it's cordless too, by the way. I just remembered that. Just gotta charge it. I was watching uh, I don't hate him for this but I was watching chapter master Valrak 
the other day, and I know he's been having a hard time with his stream and stuff like that, but, man, the guy said something to me that, or not to me, but um, on the channel that just kind of really irked me, man. He's like, I don't care about subscribers. And I was just like, wow, you know, I mean, not everybody can afford to, you know, give you money or anything like that, you know, and, you know, I, I, I was hoping he was joking, but uh, he clearly wasn't. And uh, that's, that's unfortunate. That's what I'll say about that. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Crap, did not want to do that. Because I need to put this pauldron on first. That way I'm not fighting it. Yeah. Gets a little, a little tight in there. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put that pauldron on and let it sit cause, and dry because I got a feeling the other one's gonna knock it right off as soon as it scrapes up against it. And we may need to do a little more trimming on that one anyway. This one does not want to play ball. And the only reason I bring that up is, you know, about him is he's been having trouble with his streams and everything else. Like, I mean, the guy's like got a business internet account and everything. And for some reason on his YouTube, you know, his live channel, everything just shutting down. And, uh, you know, it's not like he does anything controversial that YouTube would need to throttle the dude. And it's unfortunate, you know. I mean, he just, when he said that, I was like, man, what the hell is wrong with this dude? So he, I don't know, is he having a bad week or, you know, whatever. But I will say this, and no, I'm not ashamed. I unsubscribed, unsubscribed from him because of that comment. And, uh, you know, if you want to say, oh, got your feelings hurt or whatever you want to say. It doesn't really matter because I mean if that's the attitude that's not the the person that you know I ended up liking and joined his channel I mean why would you say if you like the channel please like share and subscribe if you know you don't care about every every person that's giving you their time uh, well that's good I just saw that I'm glad the 10% applies to everything. It just, I guess sometimes it doesn't seem like it with, you know, all the stuff I buy. And I could have swore somebody said that it didn't, but I, I could be wrong. Lowe's and Michael's. Those are my two... My go-to places for Warhammer stuff. Although I haven't been to a Michael's in, man, I don't even know how long. But if you want stuff for terrain, you want some little odds and ends or whatever, that's the place to go, man. What the hell? Somehow on the wrong thing here oh this arm is messed up that's what happened I'm trying to figure so I've got an arm that's messed up here that I glued on and it's glued on right but the arm is not in the right place so I'm gonna cut off the shoulder here but that's okay because the pauldron is gonna cover it up you know what I'm saying um, so if you run into this issue, don't freak out. Just clip off that portion and then put your pauldron on over top of it. It'll work out just fine because you're not going to see that anyway. Basically, it was pushing my pauldron too, too high. It 
least for what I wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, man. I mean, this is it. This is, I mean, this is it. We're, we'll be done with this. That's two armies down. It's crazy. Crazy talk. It's crazy, I tell you. All right. While those are drying, we're going to go ahead and put these, uh, oops. I miss here. Put these uh, antennae on. I'll tell you one thing though: the land speeder looks bad, you know, badass uh, with two assault cannons on the front. That's for sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure why it wouldn't come with two anyway, but it sure does look, you know, pretty awesome. Have you been able to share this channel anywhere? I appreciate it. So yeah, the, the method to my madness is, you know, again, while one thing's drying or whatever, move on to something else. And everything should work out. Uh, actually, I forgot. On this guy, uh, the gunner, you probably should wait until you after you have the body in there because if you put the pauldron on first, you may have an, even though that's what the instructions say, you may have a problem with fitting him in, you know, inside. Uh, the reason I say it is if you take a look at how close that pauldron is to the wall, I mean, it's literally touching the, the wall. I'm uh, sorry. There it is. It's literally touching the wall. You may not be able to get the guy in there right. So, just something to think about. I think this guy is ready and good to go. So I can go ahead and put one in here. I mean, you still may even have that problem with the, the inside pauldron, but you kind of don't really have a choice in the matter. Just the way it is. I'm not 
not really digging that shoulder pauldron. I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna rip that one off. Retry, because it's sitting too way too high for my taste. Some of you are probably right. I'm probably not even going to remember that nonsense when I'm playing the game. But you'd be surprised. And I apologize if we didn't stream yesterday. Had a lot going on. Besides, sometimes you got to take a break. our problem. We gotta cut some more. I kind of figured it might have been Asking for trouble here. Need to just let that bad boy sit. Okay. So now, move on to this. this uh, these last shoulder pauldrons on. said that wall gets in the way so you gotta 
put it on after the fact. I use my razor blade for a lot of things, especially positioning. Um, I don't know if many of you do that, but I do. That stinks. It was so tight a fit that the, I guess the glue hadn't quite, quite dried, and we um, pushed the the upper torso right off the the spot it was glued to. This wasn't isn't this one isn't quite as bad, but looks like we're gonna have to just suck this one up, maybe. Now, screw that. I'm gonna pop that bitch off there. Get that in there where I want it. Yeah, that looks better. Then that'll sit down and glue itself in place. There we go. Now we gotta get this beast over here, do his thing. Yep, we are almost done. The Raven Wing. Heads. Yeah, they got to be trimmed Just at the top here. I 
Um, something I figured out too about my Ravenwing bikes is I've got enough uh, sergeants, if you will, but I don't have, well, I have enough sergeants for, what I have, 40 bikes. Um, but then I've got a squad, I think, that doesn't have any sergeants. Although I could use, you know, this champion guy as a sergeant if I really needed to. But um, more importantly, what I was going to say is that ex those extra bikes can be Black Knights. That I, you know, is a new unit that I never knew about. Um, and uh, so I've got a lot of options here. And I'm kind of, you know, I was looking for a, a way to break up the black. Just so much black. And... My understanding is the Black Knights, for instance, have a yellow stripe or whatever. Um, and maybe I can incorporate that, you know, elsewhere or other colors elsewhere. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. What I'll have to do, what in the world? <laughs> this guy's head's crazy. What I'll have to do with, uh, to display this army for you guys, I, um, I'm gonna have to clear out that, that debt off. Um, it's not right now. So that'll be in the next video, probably a short video to show you guys, you know, everything. But I also thought about just putting it on the game table so you can kind of see it a little more, uh, you know, a little more dynamic than just sitting in a case. There's not as many models as it works, so that's probably a little more doable. This guy does not want to get his head in the neck area. What the heck's going on here? It's just absolutely weird. Okay. Okay. We gotta cut these um, other pieces off here. Get them ready. Uh, you also want to be careful. I, uh, I screwed up one of these yesterday. I got in a rush and I wasn't paying attention. I cut it from the other side and totally cut off the part that hooks to the vehicle and I mean yeah I guess technically I could have glued it back on but it's something I'm gonna wait on you know it, it was a an older you know plastic land speeder piece so and it probably wouldn't hurt for me to make some you know I, I had an idea that if I have land speeder stuff I can't do anything with I'm gonna turn around and either use them for orc bits or you know like uh, kit kit bashing orc stuff or I'm gonna turn around and turn it into an objective piece you know, like you're trying to rescue, you know, these guys or whatever. I think that would be a, a good, good thing to do. And 
another thing that I, I have figured out, if you don't care about the little doors on the outside of these of the land speeder opening, you don't need to worry about trying to fit the little, um, let's see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. These little, yeah, these little pieces right here on the ends, you don't need to worry about that. You can just cut those things off and then glue the thing in place or bend them apart or whatever. Um, it's real simple. I mean, because nobody's going to see that anyway. This makes things a heck of a lot easier. And then you really only have to put glue in a couple spots. You don't even have to put a lot. And you just fit it right on there. Wrong side. Oops. Just like that. I really think this is going to be a fun army to play with. I mean, I've used bikes and land speeders in a limited capacity with my old Salamander's army that I gave my wife, but um, they've got, I, I believe they're even faster now. And if there's one thing I like about what's going on with the game right now is that the, the goal is to make the games not as long. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, I mean, especially tournament play and things like that, but um i do like like that per se but that's in my mind it also sometimes i don't like it because if you want to play an annihilation mission it shouldn't be limited to six turns you know so what they've done i think in, to make this work is they have essentially just you know worked on how quickly things die <laughs> you know if, if that makes sense Starting to look like a land speeder. Oop, almost did it again. Look at that. Boy, I tell you. I'm doing this the slow way, and this was the plan because I knew that. I was going to need to give those guys time to dry when they're in there. So I went ahead and just waited to cut all this stuff off the sprue to give my myself time to, to let them dry.
can't wait for down the road when I build my my trench warfare board and stuff. It's going to be awesome. I have experience with that. I've done it in the past. Uh, we used pizza boxes back in the day, and we used um, chiclets gum for the sandbags. <laughs> and it actually wasn't too bad. I mean, of course, back then we didn't have the stuff we have now. You could probably get a bunch of sandbags and stuff for cheap, you know, on three, you know, somebody could three D print you that stuff and. It would look a heck of a lot better, but yeah, man, chiclets gum, and we painted every one of those things. <laughs> it's crazy thinking back on that now. And we use popsicle sticks for the the trench, you know, trench stuff as far as the wood and everything down in there. But it was totally modular, man. You could set those trenches up however you wanted. It was awesome. It really was. But I had a lot of fun making them, too. It had its own rules. It was pretty, uh, pretty rough, to be honest with you. So this is where these can come in handy because I don't want to sit here and have to hold this the whole time. Um, just to get the sides glued in. And you don't want to go crazy, you know, because you'll crush the plastic. Oh, shoot. good to go man it's like like a third hand and you don't have to do anything as you can see I'm having the same issue well this one didn't do it so that's okay they store out of the way real nice you know on your desk so there's that
Not really worried about the weapons right now. Again, it's about getting the, uh, you know, the land speeder put together. Um, the only weapon that I'm actually concerned about would be the assault cannon, you know, and the light that goes underneath the bottom. And that's, you know, that's the only one I'm going to worry about, you know, making sure is because it's, it's, it's not interchangeable, uh, like the multi melta and the, uh, the heavy bolter are. So those I'm going to magnetize. I got really small magnets that I can, I can put that on. So. But the way that I understand the game now is if you're using power rating, I mean, if that's how you're gonna play all the time, I mean, there's no point in even worrying about, you know, putting on the lesser, you know, the lesser, uh, what am I trying to say? Lesser powered weapon because you can just say, hey, you know, I've got this and this is everything I've got. And you don't have to, I guess, represent it. At least that's how it was explained to me. If you were doing match play, I think it has to be WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. But as far as this is concerned, but I know me, I'm, it, it, it'd be easier for me because I can sit there and go this heavy bolter and this multi melta, you know, versus trying to look back at my sheet and remember and somebody think they got cheated. I don't want to do that to somebody. And besides the way I grew up in this game, everything was WYSIWYG, so why not? And you got magnets, so again, why not? Rare earth magnets are awesome. Not so awesome when you're trying to necessarily put them in, you know, and, and get them situated, but, you know, it's not that hard. Just time consuming. Something else I wanted to mention, uh, paint. So obviously in this hobby, paint can get real expensive. But here's something that you may want to consider, especially since you're going to thin your paints anyway, is you can go to Lowe's and you can get acrylic, you know, water-based paint. And you can get whatever color you want. Just take the color in there and they can try to match it. And you can get it well on the cheap. Um, and it works even in amber, even in an airbrush. Um, this I used on my Adeptus Mechanicus model. As a matter of fact, the, the green that I wanted, and I knew that I was going to need a lot of it, and so I just found the green color I wanted. Went in there, had them mix it up, and I mean, not a big, not a big giant pot. Didn't need a lot. You know, it's not like I need a five-gallon bucket or anything. Um, but yeah, you know, another option for you if you're looking for some cheap paint. Like I say, if you thin it, it's, in my opinion, no different than anything else you're going to buy. I think they take the color and then they put it, I'm trying to remember how the guy did it. I think he puts it underneath something that's like basically scans the color. So 
Now, you walk in there with a picture of a space marine, it might look at you a little weird, but you know, who cares? Like when I go to paint all these dark angels, I'm gonna find the appropriate green I want, and I'm gonna go and get it. Because I'm not gonna sit there and mix paint all day. Screw that, it's ridiculous. Perfect. I'm telling you, man, these things are worth it, man. These these clamps, they're, they're absolutely worth it. I'm so glad that I thought about going in there and getting those. Now I just got to work on, you know, some more important things like headphones. <laughs> you know, stuff that, you know, that'll make my, my life on YouTube live streaming a little bit better. some te technical difficulties For some reason here there we go. nope So what I'm probably going to do with this one is, rather than sit there and fight it, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the clamp on it.
second while we grab some glue. Again, I'm not throwing any of that stuff away. I'm gonna use that stuff for terrain. realize something my uh, my land speeder for my um, my Samuel does not have foot pegs so somewhere I messed that up so I'll have to go back and look and see if there's even foot pegs for it I'm trying to think where I put those extra pieces not what we're worried about at the moment. Our footsteps. I'm not even sure that footsteps are necessary to be honest with you, but it's part of the model, so why not, right? It'll probably break off at some point anyway.
That was some YouTube skill. I just sneezed, but I got to the mute button first. Your bike's coming along. fall asleep over there Cameron fall asleep with the glue up your nose pass out because of the glue or have you started melting your minis because you're fed up attaching firecrackers to them Warhammer real. So we're gonna add a little bit more glue to the top here. Oh, I hear you. Did you finish your bikes or what? I'm gonna 
put a little more glue on here on these steps. What were you doing besides that? definitely want to glue bro I mean push fits just you know the only advantage to that is you don't have a ton of stuff you gotta line up like I'm doing but again it's mono pose so there's that be right back I'm gonna look for these footsteps that I missed We do well. That's for that one. There's no steps on this one. Steps on that one. There's some steps. Three sets of steps, and I've already planned on that one being crashed, so that's fine. Yeah, that'd be good. So we'll cut these off real quick. <laughs> Snap right off, man. This, this plastic is weak. That's not good. Not good at all. Crazy man. Let's bring the old Samuel model back down here. Now it's important to note that this was uh, put together without the clamps. <laughs> so, needless to say, Pain in the, you know what, pain in the ass. I'm just going to say it. I'm not, I don't, I don't have a, you know, a uh, method, or I mean, I'm sorry, not a method, a reason for necessarily saying this, but it just popped in my head is, I wonder if most war gamers struggle with, especially since they're younger, they struggle with the fact that they haven't quite found where they want to live, you know, the rest of their life, so to speak, or they're just not there, and they have to deal with their models getting broken and stuff like that, you know? 
um, if that's even part of you know their struggles in this hobby and it seems like it, it was for me that's for sure all right outstanding now he is actually complete except for painting and base yeah that looks better it's amazing what two little pieces will do huh all right let's get this stuff put on wait actually that's not the way i wanted to do that so you'd be you would be tempted like i almost was right there to put uh the glue in the holes here but you don't want to do that you want to you know you can literally just you know put glue on the parts that are going to go in the holes and you'll be so much better off because you won't get a ton of glue on everything just be careful how you place it on the gun rail These are probably the cleanest land speeders I've ever put together now that I have these clamps because otherwise you get glue all over your stinking hands and then it gets on the model and then you got to go back and try to scrape it or remove it off and it's just just does not seem to work right at all. And I mean, you know, you can say, oh, well, you're going to cover it up with paint anyway. Not if you want a clean paint job. And I'm not talking about, like, the fact that you got, you know, whatever, grime or dirt or whatever from whatever's going on, you know, battle damage or whatever. And especially if you're using an airbrush, I mean, it's, all that stuff's going to show up. So... five get them dry just a tad while we trim up these um, these shields for the pilot again if you're new to the channel just chiming in just make sure you know when you're doing stuff like this try to try to plan it in such a way that you can work and other things can be working for you either drying or uh, you know, uh, curing in the case of this glue. It'll make the build so much better. And again, this is the last of the Raven Wings. 51 bikes total. 
six attack pike, six land speeders, one vengeance or dark shroud, vengeance, land speeder, Samuel on his bike, and Samuel uh, kit bash, Samuel saber claw. That can also uh, serve as a, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, I think it's the hunt, hunt master or something, something like that. Uh, a book is not around at the moment. Okay, we're gonna need tweezers for this job. We missed a spot. I'm actually uh, somewhat ambidextrous. Born left handed, but it was a different time back then, and my father wanted me to be right handed, so. Had me do just about everything with my right hand. That's okay. Take some glue off. Nothing like using your finger. We'll try not to put as much glue on next time. Not sure what happened there anyway. These have always been a pain to put on. These little shields for the pilot. reason I use the tweezers is so one to help get it in place and then two I can slide it in between there and the body of the pilot and have a more stable platform for the shield to lean up against until it sets itself at least that's the theory
Yeah, this is gonna look pretty sharp when it's all over. A legit Ravenwing army. sizable one at that. One. My apologies. difference between probably myself and other youtubers is maybe they don't have to deal with that <laughs> or they have a cat seems like the last one is the problem child but that's probably because you know you're I'm impatient or something starting to look like like know what we're doing huh all right so we've got the fairings which will be the last part well second to the last part we got these pieces um i i don't know if it's a suspenser deal or who knows what the hell this thing even is i have no idea um but it's a pain in the butt to put on 
um, doesn't line up correctly and even though it's got the you know the pins or whatever to to put it in the holes it still just doesn't line up correctly um, and then uh, but before we put these last two bits on we're gonna put uh, these raven wing uh, symbols on there on the backs oh wait actually that's not even the last part because we still have to put the assault cannons on holy smokes man I totally forgot about that which is uh, a feat in itself <laughs> I gotta say So let's see here. Should be everything except for the normal weapons, but that's okay. Those take no time at all to put together. This, on the other hand, is a whole other story. I'll have to clip some more off for the other ones. But. Okay, so there's those and the mounts. get to it then. just need one and I'm really happy that I got all of these extra parts man because this is all stuff that I can you know kit bash and upgrade with or you know I mean that GW probably doesn't do this anymore I probably went oh man we made a huge mistake <laughs> but who knows can't give these guys anything for free business ladies and germs so real quick just a real quick uh, clean up here on the top because this is where it connects and you got to get this piece off or you're pretty much screwed um, as far as the rest of it I mean it's you know easy just slip down like that 
Slip, slip your throat. I only thing Charlie knew is slip your throat. Major pain for those of you that don't know where that came from. Oh, children. Somebody got an answer for this blood spill from my lip. I guess I just had that one coming. <laughs> okay. A little trim right here. Boxes or ammo boxes. Nothing big. definitely have done a better job with the land speeder stuff because I, I don't remember back in the day I don't even think there was anything like this I did the mount definitely wasn't there I can tell you that because I still have one of those land speeders and I've never seen this mounting piece before but it's amazing Gotta say, I really enjoy this. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I'm back in the hobby and I'm enjoying this video stuff. You know, I mean, it doesn't seem that you know hard to do uh, as far as being myself or any of that kind of stuff. And it probably helps with, you know, personal growth in some way. But I mean, why do I want to care about that? <laughs> Yep, we are almost done. This is awesome. Awesome. Down to the wire. Well, there's no wire to speak of. I'm not, I don't have anywhere to be, so. not cut or molded right not sure what's going on here because it's not wanting to sit right either in here well, there it goes ish Good. Wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. Is there two sides to this? Son of a gun. There is two different salt cans. How about that? No, nope. that sucks. I gotta go back and cut another one. We gotta cut two more. Cause those are the wrong side. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong side. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Got it. I knew it was too easy. Maybe they gave us all these parts because they're like, these guys are going to screw this up. And then they're going to be mad. Anything's possible, I guess. Take these, put them in the bits box. One of many bits boxes. Bits boxes. Again, it goes a lot faster when you know like what what has to happen. So, but I I've already gone through the growing pains of figuring this out. So, whoa! Had one trying to escape. those glue these should be dry enough now that we can go ahead and start putting the raven wing symbols on so. 
and I mean, you know, if you weren't doing Ravenwing, you wouldn't even need these things. Or if you didn't want to put these on, you could just slap a decal on or something. Or, but hell no, man. I mean, why not? Got got them here. sure we turn it just right and line it up like I did the other ones almost as bad as putting a decal on it <laughs> thought it was lost to the to the warp to the void but I found it it's got a little bit of stuff on here that needed to come off trying to do it before the glue dries because we don't want a lot on there you don't want to have to mess around with this too much just throw glue all over it because you know then you're gonna have problems Two. Swimmingly. 
Excellent. Four. One more. This is the hobby we love to hate. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't hate it. Is it? That was the last one. As far as that stuff, and remember, we put one of those on each side of every bike fender, front fender. 51, if that tells you anything. Uh, well, I, I take that back. 48, because the other guys, they already had their own stuff on there. They were more, you know, cool.
time, I'm going to grab their bases. Bases. I'm not using the um, the little. Uh, it's like a gimbal ball to be able to position them and stuff. I don't really care about that. Um, I just don't. I mean, it's cool and all, but it's not what I. That's not what I want. So um, I'm gonna probably use that for something else. And it would appear at the moment that we are potentially short one base. Um, not because we're short one base, but because I was moving stuff around. Um, and I'm sure that I need to buy more anyway for my other other stuff. But uh, I'm sure we got the. For the Samuel one so that's no big deal I've got more around again the goal is to get this oh just dropped it trying to escape to the warp I'm not gluing these in right now. Um, don't want to because I want to be able to base them. Like, like do something on this and leave this clear. So these are awfully tight, though. There, that might be hard to get out. Actually, hope not. You don't want to trim them though, because if you do, you'll never get it in there right unless you glue it. I know that from experience. Man, those are really tight. I don't know why that is. We got extra ones, right? <laughs> okay, so we got four at least. And I mean, this Samuel model here, I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it's fine cast. I mean, I don't, I don't really care too much about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know how often I'll use it. Now that I say that, I'm probably going to use it like all the time. But I like the one that I built. Let me put it that way. I really like the one I built. And I can't get this off, so I need to use my trusty Leatherman here. I always carry a Leatherman on me, 
just, uh, you know, just um, have it. Always want a knife on you. And I also, just so uh, in case you didn't know this, we also have these old school, I got two of these bad boys. And my goal is for these guys to fly around with the, uh, the Vengeance Death Shroud or as Samuels will just say, personal bodyguard, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to this one because this one, this one was cut for Samuels bike um, it's a big hole so and it'll have to be glued in but uh, let's see is that a tall one those are tall so I need a short one I don't want all my um, you know I don't want all the land speeders on this at the same height you know you want to give a little bit of a little bit of variety Looks like we're back at it with the Leatherman. Question is, can we do it without messing up the, uh, you know, messing it up? You know what? I got a way to do this. Let's see here. Stand by. Let's see if we can accomplish this without scratching it up. We're gonna use this beanie as a uh, as a shield, I hope, to keep the teeth from messing up the the uh, the pole here, the stem rather. Seems to be working ish. Sliding mostly, but no, that did not work. Not only did it not work, it uh, looks like it cracked on the inside from the pressure. be stuck with the tall one. Pins. Looks like three. Yeah, at least till we get around to finding other stuff, so alright. So the biggest reason that we did not put the the fairing I'm sorry fairing the spoiler on is we want to be able to lay this thing upside down like I'm doing right now. Oops, sorry. Like that. And that's going to assist us with gluing this on the bottom. Okay? As well as the other other piece. That's why I said the fairing, I'm sorry, gosh, the spoiler is going to go on last. Um, you're still going to want to, once you do this, Kind of look at it and make sure it's lined up how you want, not turned too much, because they have a tendency to turn on turn on themselves. And I dropped it. Um, and you want to look at it from the bottom because if you don't, this this outer suspenser, whatever armor, or whatever the hell it is it's gonna it's gonna throw you off you know um, because of how it may or may not be sitting or you know whatever um, I mean technically the gun is supposed to be able to turn you know but I think I was pushing mine back. I was, yeah, because there's a there's a point here where you can kind of glue it up against something. Yeah, that's what it was. Now we 
it's not sticking out too far like it's stupid. Alright, looks about right. But like I said, now you have a you know you have a platform from which to work. Um, and then put this whatever this thing is called on there. So you're making the model work for you. Um, yeah. Typically when I put this piece in, once it goes in one time, I don't typically mess around with it whether it glued right or not I mean I say right or not but I mean I just typically don't screw around with it um, just depends because once it gets loose in there it does not want to want to stay and then well I'm not gonna do that right now I was gonna show you something, but I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna ruin, you know, mess up the chance of the gun or something else not being right. But yeah, I mean, we're down to our last three pieces here. Um, you know, successful build, successful, you know, the army's, you know, done. I mean, I say we're down to our last three pieces. I, I still have the heavy bolter, you know, and or the multi-melter, whichever you wanna put on there. But like I said, those are gonna get magnetized and it's you literally just clip it off trim it and put it on it's not even a big deal um you know that you know there's just there's nothing to it so um this everything i've done here has been the bulk of this project and like i said i cannot stand putting land speeders together they just for me they just annoy me but after i bought these little you know uh I think it's not even this part it's it's the initial phase of getting the body put together and um, after getting those hand clamps you know that just made the job so much easier so I highly recommend getting those if, if you can um, but that's you know it's completely up to you I mean like I said I got a land rate well but um, you know, we've got land raiders we've got to put together, uh, uh, drop pods, all kinds of stuff. You know, that's that's gonna need you know a, a third hand if I want to you know get through it without you know really being the angry badger. Because trust me, my mouth can get away from me, <laughs> and uh, I don't want that to happen. So. Who knows, I might, well, I doubt I'd get banned off of YouTube. I mean, I've heard worse on YouTube, and they're still on, so. But I'm work. you know, I'm working on it for my kids' sake or whatever. Oh, so this one, I must have cut the wrong thing again. That stinks. Well, hopefully I can line it up right, and it'll glue in place all at once. Because we have no, um... No little uh, pegs to fit in the holes on this, whatever this in thing is below. Might be like a ground sensor, like, you know, how how close you are to the ground. But my gosh, man, 41st millennium, you got to have something that huge to tell you, hey, the ground's right there. I don't know. This wouldn't surprise me, though. It's just how things are in the 41st millennium. Alright, let's put the next gun on. But as you can see, if you have a plan, things go relatively smoothly. And, you know, you're just getting a lot done in a short amount of time which we all want to do because we want to get the plan all 
one. That's interesting. They didn't drill the hole in this one. But very well, I guess I'm gonna have to cut this off anyway. At least we got one hole or one pin that worked. And I mean, you know, there's probably other things that I may add to the, you know, the body of the, of, you know, before I get to painting, you know, like little trinkets or whatever, kind of like I did with the, um, you know, the, the uh, Samuel, you know, kit bash deal. But I mean, I may not, you know, I mean, it's, it, uh, all these little things you add on, you know, it just lends to the possibility of it getting broken, you know, and course if you can't fit the model somewhere you know I mean it's not the model itself you know I mean you can't fit the base but uh, at least I th I thought I read somewhere that said if you can't fit the models you know but I mean if you're playing fair with somebody in my mind you're gonna have extra bases and you're not gonna penalize your opponent for his artwork you know I mean, if he wants to do some elaborate thing with his model, you should support that. And then, if the base fits in the spot, then he then he then he's good. It doesn't need to be destroyed or whatever, like the you know the book says. But you know, you got plenty of people you know, that don't play like that. They're they think they forgot what this game's all about, or maybe they never even knew to begin with. Who knows? We got another mold problem here. I don't know what the heck's going on? not going to stop us. We're done. We're almost done here. And the Rave Wing will be complete. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys can make this out, but see how there's a, a definitive hole right here? And then you can see the imprint right there, but there's no hole. I mean, there's a little bit of a dent, but there's no hole there. And it's like, what the heck's going on? It's crazy. And all at the very end, of course. I'm not going to sit here and drill the hole out. That's for sure. I have a drill here, but forget that. necessary work so yeah what I'll do is um, maybe later this evening once I get everything you know downstairs and whatnot I'll put everything on the game table you'll be able to see the Raven wing in all its glory because I still have I still have to clear the you know the other um, the other cabinet and, uh, and there's Deathwing models in there as well, not just the push fit ones like that are in the Dark Vengeance box set. I've got some regular ones as well. And they're going to be a chore because while the push fit ones, I don't have any choice on what they carry, uh, the ones that aren't push fit, I do. And I'm trying to figure out how I would like them to be. Do I want Storm Shields and Thunder Hammers? You know, or do I want to go with all, you know, guns and flamers? You know, it just depends, so um, we'll see how that pans out. All right, so these should be glued. And then what I do is I put, put it on the base of the stand. And then we put the fairing on. I'm just, God, the fairing. Spoiler. And uh, we're all set. Like I said, other than, you know, just clipping the little guns off, you know, and putting their little ammo box on, I mean, these guys are done. It's, you know, the army is complete with 51 bikes, six land speeders, one land speeder, vengeance, death shroud, whatever you want to call it, uh, two Samuel models, or 
the hunter, whatever master hunter one that it can be. And um, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Don't remember. All right. And then that's it, man. I mean, we are. We have accomplished another army. Let me do it this way. And like I said, these are the cleanest land speeders I have ever put together due to the amount of glue that you typically get on your fingers like that. Jeez. I had to say something, didn't I? At least it's on a flat part that I can scrape off if I need to. So, put that one over there. Let's get his compadre over here. you did anything to get glue on my fingers Man. okay Some of these will probably have to be refit on a stand that, that fits them better, but that's okay. We'll worry about all that stuff when we get to the painting portion. one ladies and gents and we're going to call it a night on this stream and there you have it the last five and the raven wing army is done except for cutting those out. That's it. So thanks for hanging out with me. I gotta go. And uh, like I said, next video, um, it's gonna be showing, uh, you know, the Raven Wing all out on the table. And, um, you know, so you can see, you know, get a feel for exactly how big this army is. And um, we will see you next time. Take care.